what's up here and just got these uh, Hayabusa T3, I think it's T3 LX, seven ounce gloves and I'm unbagging them. I'm going to give you first thoughts on them and tell you why I chose these versus some other options out there that um, honestly were cheaper. These are not the cheapest ones that I could find. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through why. And of course, I'm going to be putting these on while I talk and uh, just kind of give you my first initial thoughts. So the reason why I chose these after uh, doing a decent amount of research was because uh, these seem to be the best all around for grappling and uh, just have like a really nice protective fit. So I chose these verses like I looked at the Venoms and um, I know I looked at a few others. I don't remember which all, like RDX. Um, and the reason why I thought these seemed better is because the support from all that I was hearing seemed like it was better on these versus pretty much any other option that you could get. Um, and you like, you don't need hand wraps. That was the other thing I thought was interesting is like, you just really don't need to wrap your hand with these because of the level of support. Of course, Hayabusa is from everything I can tell is really well known for their wrist support. And so that was something that I just really liked. Of course, they got kind of this double, um, wrap system that they got going on here. Uh, definitely feels good. Feels really nice. And so like something that as I look through other videos, something I noticed about these is like th they stay pretty straight. Like you've got like a nice uh, lack of need to resist against the closing in of the glove. So they, they obviously like if I completely rest my hand, they do, you know, they do curl over, but it's very minimal to get the hand to open up. So it's not super high profile. Like a lot of the venom ones that I was seeing um, uh, and obviously other options have, more of that pillow top. And this definitely has like, like it's pretty good amount of padding, right? Like these are, are going to be good for obviously for sparring and stuff, but the system that they have here was a little bit different. And I'm not going to get too deep into why I think that's a big deal. Cause honestly, I don't know if that's a big deal. I just heard people saying that they liked how the palm, you know, sort of strap in system here works. But the biggest thing that I heard was that the lack of the pillow top, um, was something people really like because in a, in a situation where you're trying to get your hand out, like it's a lot easier, like if you're grappling. Um, and then also another reason that people like this is because it does it just doesn't close your hand in. So having a more neutral hand position and then also the ability to just grapple and sort of prioritize that to a degree was what made me want to choose these. So I love the look also. That's kind of the other thing about these is I just think they look sweet, like the, I want to say it's Italian leather. So a lot of people, and this was with, also with the boxing gloves, a lot of people are like, well, genuine leather, it should be Italian, like the full grain, full grain leather, um, at least from what I recall when I researched more on leather, full grain is actually a better quality leather than genuine leather. And so full grain is preferable in the sense that it is a higher quality leather. So again, these feel pretty sweet. I'm excited to try them out. And again, um, I thought it was neat that you really don't need uh, wraps for these and that they have plenty of built in just like robustness to provide a lot of support and a lot of um, ergonomicness. You now I'm using like super scientific words here, but I, what else is there to say? They're a seven ounce glove. <laughs> they look good and uh, they're expensive, but you know, I think that it's going to pay off if it, pays off or not is yet to be seen. Obviously I'm going to be trying these bad boys out and uh, seeing if I think that they're worth it. And so I'll have to do another video. If you're interested in that, be sure to comment and let me know. But otherwise I'm excited to try these out, get them out and uh, get them tested, see if they hold up. Uh, but from everything I've seen from what people are saying so far, expensive as they may be, you, you, you get what you pay for. So Anyhow, um, hopefully this is helpful to you. You guys definitely comment, subscribe. I, I'm, I don't just do reviews and unboxings on things. Honestly, like my um, my interest in martial arts and jujitsu and all this kind of stuff is really because of what it does for my mind. That's my biggest interest is just my mind and my body keeping myself in shape because you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I, I want to be very avid in like running my own businesses and, and buying businesses and get into like 
exits and mergers and all that kind of stuff. And I just think that when you've got something that you're doing that challenges you physically, it does two things. Number one, it gets you into your body to where you can, you know, we live in this like abstract world. If you're doing any sort of office work or negotiations or coaching or anything that is more, you know, in the brain out, you know, it's like you're in the ether of reality versus being present. And so I think being present is very, very good. And for me, martial arts almost give me that, like I'm in the moment, I, I have what's right in front of me and it allows me to detach in a way that allows me to come back to my business stuff with more renewed vigor. So, you know, all this is like at the end of the day, it's not really about this glove, right? It's not about these gloves. It's more about what is this doing for me internally so that I can be everything that I'm, I'm envisioning I want to be for the future and create a life that allows me to be present for my loved ones, for my community. And so that's really what it's all about. So again, hopefully it's been interesting to you. Be sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you here soon. Let's see if I can click. I'm actually going to see with these gloves on. True test. I'm going to click the end button on this video and uh, see how easy it is with these gloves that are supposed to be good for grappling. Let's see. You, you won't hear until the next video, though, the results. See you guys.